Welcome to this small town Have a seat, drink and sing Welcome to my ocean The air is easy and salty And I don't mind if you don't mind me Sing for your life, sing for me Let her song echo and ring In a million years for eternity Oh, I'm home now As home as I'll ever be Alright, Savages, so here we are at Faith Armory just wrapping up the last of our interview with Patrick, the supervisor here on the first episode of What's in Your Pockets. And as we got ready to leave and head on out of there, TJ, the owner, decided he was going to ambush us with a little what's in your pockets. He wanted to share what he was carrying on him and wanted to talk a little bit about his shop. So stay tuned for What's in Your Pockets with TJ, the owner of Faith Armory. All right, so we just got done uh, talking to Patrick, as you guys saw, and uh, TJ, the owner, came up and... Uh, he kind of ambushed us. It's supposed to work in reverse, but since you're here and you, you kind of already, the premise is already ruined, uh, you didn't have an opportunity, I saw you, to go and dump your pockets full of stuff, but do you mind doing a pocket dump for us real fast? Sure. You, you own this place? You own the place across the street as well, right? Yeah, actually the fishing shop moved in here. Oh, okay. So it's all in one house now to make it easier for the customers. All right. So in my pocket dump, I have my phones. I carry two phones as well. Are they both Androids? One of them is an iPhone? What is both Android. Okay. You got a key bar. Makes it so it's easier for my shop keys and home keys. Yeah. Got a knife. What kind of knife you got here? It's an Emerson. Uh, it's a uh, Kershaw. Kershaw. Yeah. All right. How long have you been carrying that for? Um, got a couple months. I noticed I had a pocket assist. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It, it just helps flip you out. I'm a big fan of pocket assist as well. For sure. For All right. Sure. What else? Let's see. I got... Chapstick. Oh, I carry chapstick too on my ADC. <laughs> my keys for my truck. All right. Keys for the Harley. You never know when you're going to ride. That's right. <laughs> Got my uh, spare mag. Wallet. No. Some no. cash. No. And then uh, my concealed carry. All right. Well, what do you carry for your concealed carry if you don't mind me asking? Actually, let me. I'll go ahead and clear it real quick. Cool. We appreciate it. I actually carry an EMP. It is unloaded, just so you all know. Yep. Springfield EMP. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, they're they're fun. It's a great little pistol. I like how light it is, and it's just easy to tuck. I got to be honest, I didn't even know that you were carrying. So you did a good job. Thank you. Um, how long you been carrying this for? This guy, I've been carrying it for about um, nine months. Okay. So every day for nine months. You gonna stick with it? Yep. All right. What kind of rounds do you carry with it? Um, I just have a couple different. This, I think this is a frangible tip, right there. And then uh, the one that I carry in the gun is your. Um, this is Civil Liberty. I think it is. Oh so man. It's a. It's an aluminum. So it's a lot lighter. So it's half the weight. You can tell. Wow. The two mags. They're miss. Both missing. You can just tell. One. Holding the. Yeah. Here's. Here's the mags. Wow, that so, is amazing. I carry that in it all day. Okay. How do the uh, round shoot? I've never shot them before. They're actually, yeah, they have better uh, velocity. They have more impact. They're actually devastating. Uh, Civil Liberty, if you want to check them out online, they're crazy ammo. Really? Yeah. All right. They, they're, they're a lighter bullet, and the, but they're pushing faster, and they have a harder impact. Superior ballistics. Mm -hmm. Civil Liberty. All right. Uh, one of the reasons why we come out and do this stuff is because we wouldn't otherwise know that, obviously. We wouldn't otherwise know that, you know, you really like this uh, nine millimeter, like so we couldn't even tell that you were carrying conceal. So I, I noticed he had a Springfield. I actually just drove, we just finished the drills on a Springfield today, XD9. Nice. There you go. And uh, you carry one. So Springfield mm -hmm. seems to be really popular. I like the trigger resets on this. Springfield's stuff. great. I have, a, I have <clears throat> four different ones on my concealed carry, but this is my go-to every day just because it's easier, lighter. Um, I have a shield on my thing, on my concealed carry. Mm -hmm. I have a Glock 19, a Glock 17. I have the 17, that's my truck gun. Right, so all right, it's yeah. It's in the back seat of the truck in a safe, so if I need it and I can't get 
If I run out of this ammo, I'll find the other one. That's my brother's truck gun too. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I was going to ask you about your holster. What kind of holster yeah. that you do? You I actually just have a simple Galco. I like the uh, single. Okay. Uh, just so I can move it around and make it more comfortable, depending on what situation I'm in. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm at a shop with the wife and kids, I'll move it to appendix carry just to make it a little bit easier so I'm not printing as much as we're going through a store with the kids running around right. and everything. So if I had the other one, I wouldn't. I tried. I will only go with the single clip. I can't. Always in the waistband. Yep. Okay. Inside the waist. I don't. Don't want to mess with it. Mm -mm. I carry it outside the waistband sometimes. I'm doing it right now and I'm printing and you know, it happens. And... Yeah, I don't want to get caught to print. <laughs> no, no, for sure. You're absolutely right. <laughs> We really appreciate you, uh, I guess, ambushing us, coming out here and, yeah. and sharing a little bit about what you carry in Thank the pockets. Thank you for coming by. We uh, appreciate the help that you give us today on the firearm. Awesome. We really appreciate the Trick Shot Tuesday. Guys, if you have not had an opportunity to check out Faith Armory's Facebook page, it's on yep. the Facebook page, yep. right? Yep. And check out the Trick Shot Tuesdays. TJ does some crazy stuff. Today, actually, Who's he that? spent some money on some arrows. <laughs> yeah, I uh, destroyed four arrows before I got the trick shot done. So, but hey, you gotta win some, lose some. Right, so um, they have a full, you guys have a full archery range full set archery up here. Shop. Um, the, the full people fishing this, shop. Full fishing shop. We do custom rods, we do real repairs, we do everything here. Wow. We got a gunsmith, we, we literally, we're a full service shop. You got all, for you all your outdoor customization, days. Cerakote, you mm -hmm. have guys that do, um, uh, what is it called? Stippling? Stippling, Stippling. we guys do stipple, <clears throat> we Cerakote, we, we do it all. We're a one-stop shop. Whatever you need, we got it. And you guys, they can shoot bows right here? Yep. I, I know when I went to go get my bow set up, was it last week or the week before? Mm -hmm. they, they were just amazing. I, here, try this out before you go buy it. Try this out. Here, try that. It was, the main goal is we want to make sure you're comfortable with your purchase before you buy it. So shoot as many different ones as you can. Make sure the right bow is going to talk to you. That's 100%, right. 100% you're going to be like, you're going to finally shoot that bow. And that, ooh, that was nice. I like awesome. that other little setup you got over there too, where you get to shoot those floating yeah, balls. We rent that out for parties and everything. So and that's right. I was gonna actually probably talk to you about that. My daughter's really into archery, mm -hmm. so uh, I might, you know, see if we can pick that up for for her birthday. Yeah, let us know. Rent for it. Yeah, yeah. All right. For sure. TJ, man, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you so yeah, much for for this opportunity. Uh, we'll definitely be back. For and sure. guys, if you have an opportunity, you're here in Temecula, California, or do you guys have any events that you guys put on? We, not, not at this moment, we're working on doing a lot more stuff. Uh, we do uh, charters for fishing often. Uh, we're going to hopefully this year find out some hunting trips we can take some employees on, or yeah. customers on and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a good deal. We'll figure it out. Well, either way, definitely come on into uh, Faith Armory in Temecula, California. It is a, a, a huge place. And you know what I forgot to mention and you didn't bring up either. You guys have a full classroom back there. Yep. You guys, there, I saw some of you guys had like a knife defense. We something. have knife self defense. We have uh, a stop the bleeding um, first responder class. Um, we have C Arizona Utah CCW. We have the Hunter's Ed course. That's what um, I took here. Ooh, what else we got? Uh, we got a lot more coming in the pipeline. We got like your gunsmithing classes for your just your basic how to break down all your weapons. Intro and, archery. Yeah. Intro to archery. Intro to archery. We have a six-week program we do for kids, and actually for everybody, it's uh, once a week for six weeks. And if you have your own equipment, it's only seventy-five bucks. Wow, for and six weeks. Yeah. Wow. If you have, if you need to rent equipment, it's only ninety-five, and if for a recurb and a hundred and twenty for a compound. Okay. So. And I've worked with the, your instructors over there. Like amazing. I said, they worked with me. I didn't know anything about archery. My brothers, you know, the archer in the family. He's like, hey, I want somebody to go hunting with me. We're gonna set you up with a bow and everything. So that's why we were in here a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And your guys over there totally took care of me. It Ton was of fun. I went from not knowing anything to putting everything in and like, I don't know, a silver dollar circle, so. That's awesome. Yeah, it is super rewarding. Yeah, it is.
Well, guys, we really appreciate it. I know I keep trying to end this thing, but there's so much more to say about Faith Armory. You could probably be here all day. Yeah. Guys, uh, we really appreciate it. Um, if you have an opportunity, like I said, come out, hit up this spot. They will set you up with anything you need. If it has to do with outdoors, manly stuff, or womanly stuff. Or womanly, yeah. 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 Definitely come in and check them out. And as always, guys, stay savage. <laughs>